With the Challenger, the process doesn't change, but the customer expectation does. Being a retro muscle car, there's a big expectation placed on the quality for the customers receiving these cars. The only way to ensure a perfect Challenger-worthy finish is to make sure the car and the environment is perfectly clean before a drop of paint goes on. This is the most sterile environment that we have in the Brampton facility. We'll filter the air down to five microns. That means any foreign matter bigger than about 1 40th of the size of a grain of sand is filtered out, keeping the paint shop impeccably clean. Up to 75 cars enter this area every hour, and the first step is a thorough wash to remove any residual dust from earlier in the process. Then, the cars are dipped in a series of submersible baths. This one contains a zinc phosphate solution, which actually changes the chemistry of the metal surface by bonding rust-resistant zinc molecules to the steel. And what that does is it prevents corrosion from creeping across. So if you had a small stone ship or what, whatnot that went down to bare metal, it wouldn't move across your whole car. With the shell now cleaned and protected, the car is ready for four stages of paint. E-coat, primer, color, and clear coat. Starting with E-coat, this bath actually alters the car's electrical charge, so the paint will stick to it. The car is the ground, and then the bath is a positive charge. So once the car goes into the bath, the, the paint gets uh, attracted to the car like a magnet, and, and it gets, goes into the pores of the car. The primer goes on next, and when the car emerges, it's ready for the final paint. These apply both the color and the clear coat simultaneously. The carefully planned sequence starts with the interior under the watchful eyes of skilled operators who control the color and thickness of the paint. The Challenger is available in 12 bold hues, many of which hark back to the original, like this 70s-inspired Hemi Orange. On the Challenger, we have some great colors, some real cool colors. We have the Detonator Yellow, Hemi Orange, Plum Crazy, and we're gonna have a few more. They're called Buzz Colors. After the color is added, the car is baked in an oven at 350 degrees. And once it's done, the finish is tough, hard-wearing, and very, very shiny. Before leaving here, they check every vehicle under fluorescent bulbs. The flat, unforgiving light reveals any rippling or uneven spots. And just like a baby in the womb, it's tested with an ultrasound machine which magnifies each coat of paint a thousand times to make sure it's applied at the correct thickness. It's all good, perfect.